offers and things. And Archie Gray wasn't confirmed, but at the time of recording now, he has. Um, I think it was confirmed earlier this afternoon. So, yeah, 40 mil uh, leads central midfielder. Uh, I'm not claiming to have watched a lot of his games. I've watched enough clips and I've watched enough highlights to see the sort of player that he is. And I think Spurs are falling into... They're falling backwards into a bowl of butter. If I might have paraphrased that saying, but I think a very good youngster, um, very composed, and to do it in a in a championship setting where you know games come thick and fast, and to constantly perform, I think he was one of Leeds's better players alongside. Uh, I think it's Casencio Somerville. Um, so yeah, forty mil. Brentford had an offer for thirty five that was rejected, and yeah, he's now heading to North London. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's a Joe Rodon swap that's going on as well. So he heads to Leeds, and I think there's like a 10 mil sort of something there. So, yeah, I think a good piece of business for Spurs, a good up-and-coming youngster um, in a position where I think they haven't had the most luck in the last few years. So, yeah, I think it's a very good acquisition. And we said that we're signing for the future. So 40 mil for a championship player is unfortunately what you're going to pay. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I, I, I don't even think it's like 40, 40 mil for a championship player. Like 40, 40 mil for an 18-year-old English player. And I mean, that yeah. English tax strikes again. I mean, there's, yeah. there's, there's no, no other way to put it. Uh, you mentioned Brentford. Um, like I think Brentford were, were extremely close to like closing this down and then Tottenham yeah. came came through at the eleventh hour and just swiped him away, and I mean that's the appeal of a bigger club, um, and yeah. you you don't blame him for bigger. for choosing um, that destination. But uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, in all in all honesty, Tottenham is more like they are bigger than Brentford, so like yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't say the biggest club because there's no chance that I would say that. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, man. Like, uh, like you said, um, uh, a good talent for the future. It's a long term deal that they that they signed him on. So, yeah, excited to see what he will end up bringing to to the Premier League. Um, but yeah, Riaz, uh, do you feel good about this transfer as a Spurs um, supporter? First of all, let me let, let me ask you guys quickly because I've done a bit of research on the guy. But um, do we have consensus as to where he plays, like predominantly? Um, I think it was Central. like, yeah, 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 central midfielder. So either, yeah. I mean, if you're going to give positions, it's either oh, he's, the old midfielder, what's, yeah, or he, he could be box to box. So, yeah, because yeah. I, th I think it, it said something about um, him playing off his games at right back and off his games in center mid. So, yeah, it's quite it's, interesting. Like, sort of how, remember how, how Josh Kimmich was at one point where he was torn between like those two positions? Yeah. Um, yeah, so very similar to that. Not that I'm like putting him on par with Kimmich because there's yeah. no chance yeah. at all. Um, but yeah, just yeah. like it's uh, used in a similar manner um, yeah. between those those two positions. Which is, I guess, what we do nowadays at Spurs. We play yeah. in the intimate in in place, I guess, <laughs> right back. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, it's, it's he looks like a good talent. Um, he played what, over 40 games for Leeds in a championship side at 17 years old. So he must be doing something right. Um, yeah. 40 million, like we said, is a bit much. I think also the Brentford deal was um, an issue with pay structure or something like that for uh, what, what do you call that thing? F F F FSP or something, whatever the case may be. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So they couldn't really get it over the line, but uh, we somehow did. It's this this financial fair play situation confused me because people are doing crazy stuff. I'm sure we'll talk about that in a bit. But um, yeah, it looks good. I mean, one for the future, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because we kind of need to strengthen the team as it is now. We don't have a good team in the first place. So to buy someone for the future is kind of yeah, it's it's great and all, but like let's can let's look like what we can improve the first team because he's not gonna come in and play 30 games for the for the Spurs this season. So um mm. it's 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 a good buy. 40 million is way too much, obviously, but it's an English tax that we talk about in the transfer market as it is. But I'm happy. I mean, it's it's good business at the end of the day. I think um, besides the price tag, um, to look for, I guess, the, in that position as well, someone who can play like Ange wants to play, because not a lot of right backs can do that. Not a lot of wing backs can kind of come and step inside and do a good job. 
Um, so yeah, mm. I think it's it's a really really good uh, piece of business for us. I just think that we need more, we need to sign if we're doing more more business in this transfer window, we need to sign more now than we need than we do for the future kind of a thing. Like we need to improve the kind of the team now. But um, I also think that we we don't really need more eights. Like we have sixty billion eights. Like everybody in our team can play eight. We we don't have a six. That's the main issue. I think that's more of a pressing pressing problem than, than eight for us at the moment. But yeah. Um, anyways, uh, so we, we we all agree on that's that that's it. He looks looks like a good like kind of a good like a good pillar to kind of for the future. A good one for the future. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. One for the future. But like like you said, um, with with Spurs midfield, I mean, there's Sir Basuma. Madders, uh, Hoiberg. I don't know if he's going to stay though. I think he might be out. Yeah. Um, Ali Skip, he's still there as well. So, yeah. The, the South, the South, 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 South. South. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, there's there's, there's a lot of a lot of guys in that central midfield spot. Um. So maybe he's going to be there to give Pedro Pardo a go at right back. Um. Uh. I don't know. I can't have to. Wait yeah. I don't want to talk too long about Spurs because I think I might get physically ill. But, yeah, it's those, those names that, that you are rattling off. Like, I mean, surely you can't be worse than Oliver Skip, you know? Um, Oliver Skip I is a good left back. Yeah, okay. He's, so he's, then, a vers- he's a versatility player. So, I mean, the, <laughs> yeah, the, the guy um, can play anywhere. He'll do a good job, like, anywhere on the pitch. So, yeah. like... Just but tell him to hold position and he'll position and he'll, and he'll do that. Yeah, but it's at the point now where you can't settle for that, right? Yeah, no, if for you, sure. You, if, if you're wanting to push on, you can't have yeah. any pocket knives, right? You yeah. you can't have a guy that's going to specialize in three three different positions because where, where is his position then? Yeah, 100%. Um, the, the names that you're rattling off there, it's like, if I'm him, I'm like, okay, I'm 18. I've just come off a full season where I've played, I've played consistently. Um, I'm going to take my chances. Yeah. Nobody's expecting anything from me, so it's even better for him to just come to the side and do what he needs to do. And then literally all he has to do is break down play and give it to Madison, Kulisevsky, Son, you know, Werners, all, like all of it. He's, they're not expecting a lot from him, and I think that's yeah. possibly going to be his strength. Yeah. Yeah. Uh,